what Asia needs in terms of energy coordination. You addressed it briefly in your presentation. Mm -hmm. Clearly, the IEA has played a significant role in balancing the demands of both suppliers mm -hmm. and users in the developed world. In Asia, we see little coordination, mm -hmm. and there are, you know, the elephant in the room is China, I guess. Yes, um, and China has pursued a different policy to many other Asian economies in securing its energy security. What would you recommend for this region that the IEA takes on an important role for this region, or that the region as a whole comes up with its own organization that is able? to encompass the different energy mm. policies being pursued? Yeah, this is probably most important information for the future of the IEA. I'm not, no longer the executive director, so I can openly say this way or that way. It's up to Asian countries, including China, including ASEAN, including Japan. How do they think about the energy security of the region? Because there are plenty of implications about, uh, let's say, the, the grow, growth of the economy happens here, demand for energy happens here. So it is quite legitimate that Asian countries may decide different option than the IEA. ASEAN is doing a very good coordination, cooperation, probably have to go further, but ASEAN is a very interesting example of voluntary nature at the same time helping each other. Japan, Korea, China, well, we haven't done enough. Talking about trilateral FTA concept, more cooperation is necessary. What about Australia, New Zealand, these countries, or Russia? R Russia is offering to connect Japan with grid to provide electricity, fine. But we need more stability in the region, connection to Korea make more sense eventually to China, ASEAN, or India. In terms of the framework, Asia already has a very interesting framework called Asian Energy Consumer Producer Dialogue. Energy ministers of both producing and consumer countries from Asia meet every year. They are talking about the energy security, not only oil, but in a comprehensive manner. And difference of this group is certainly more, not only consumer, but producers. IEA was created as a pure consumer framework to confront the producer country like OPEC. Is confrontational nature of IEA is good for Asia? This is very interesting question because more and more the case that there are similar common issues with producers and consumer, like energy efficiency, conservation, renewable energy sources. Saudi and UAE, for example, are the real pusher of solar power, because eventually gas and oil will, will diminish. Then they need other sources, so they decided to invest quite a big amount of revenue into the R&D of these renewable technologies. Yes, these are the very common issue for us. Why not cooperate in this kind of framework for the future of energy security? So I said, yes, petroleum sec supply security is a 20th century security. Yes, IEA was created for that. But 21st security, century security is probably different. Do we need to change IEA or create something else? What Asia should do? This is a question to all of you. 